the Bismarck is an SR battleship from the Iron Blood faction, and is arguably one of the most famous battleship in history. Bismarck is one of the first event only ship you will see in the game when you first start playing, because she is the first enemy boss you will ever face in the game during the tutorial. Bismarck, just like Nimizo's skin is one of the most awaited content in the game, and she is so famous that she probably have a fan base far bigger than that of San Diego. Players had been begging to get their hands on her, and those who got her can testify how great she is. This cool looking faction leader of the Iron Blood is an event only ship that can only be obtained from the special construction pool during the Scherzo of Iron and Blood event. This means that just like other SR event only ships, you will need good RNG to get her, and you might even end up wasting 100 of Q, but still fail to get her just like how I did with Rishalu. Stats wise, Bismarck is one of the tankiest battleship in the game with her HP being the second highest with only FDG having a higher HP pool than her. Bismarck has 8762 hit points, 423 points in firepower and 208 points in anti-air. Much like Nagata, Bismarck is also a functional faction leader that can be used to significantly improve the performance of your iron blood fleet while still being able to do some of the work herself unlike that brat from the royal navy bismarck has three skills two offensive and one support type her first offensive skill is called war heat this skill guarantees bismarck's first salvo to be a critical hit letting you deal a guaranteed heavy damage on your first salvo additionally if she have a cl gun equipped as her auxiliary gun this skill will also set the range of that gun to 90, but decrease its damage dealt by 35%. This means that you get more range for your auxiliary gun at the expense of dealing less damage. Her second offensive type skill is called Unwavering Strength. This is a barrage skill that has a 70% proc chance every time Bismarck fires her main gun. Additionally, this skill also increases the damage dealt by your iron blood carriers, and if you happen to be around during the divergent chessboard event, that means you have two iron blood carriers that can take advantage of this skill. Granted that you also have the pocket sized version of that carrier. Lastly is her support skill called Will of the Iron Blood. This skill increases the main gun, torpedo and airstrike crit rate of all your iron blood vanguard ships by 20% and their reload by 12%. This skill also increases the damage of the other Bismarck class battleship, if you happen to have her on the same fleet as Bismarck. This skill makes her a really good flagship for your Iron Blood fleet, but best of all, unlike Nagato's fourth combined fleet flagship skill, Bismarck's will of the Iron Blood skill does not require her to be in the flagship position to activate. This means that in the event that Bismarck's HP reaches critical level, you can remove her from the flagship position and put her on the side without losing the effect of her will of the iron blood skill. Now, onto her equipment. For her main gun. I recommend the prototype twin 406mm main gun SKC-34 if you want a rapid fire HE gun that can deal heavy damage. This gun also works well. If you want to take advantage of Bismarck's barrage skill, you can also give her either the twin 380mm main gun SKC if you want an AP gun or the twin 381mm advanced main gun for HE if you want to have a faster firing main gun at the cost of lower alpha damage. If you want a salvo type gun that hits really hard, but at a cost of a slower reload, you can give her the prototype triple 410mm mounted gun. There is another gun that is great for her which is the prototype twin 457mm gun mark A, but I can't really recommend it right now, since I still don't have it but on paper, it has good damage and reload rate, so you can give it a try, if you happen to have one lying around. For her auxiliary gun, obviously you will want to give her a CL gun, to take full advantage of her war heat skill. For this I recommend the triple 155mm mounted gun or the triple 152mm main gun. If you want an auxiliary gun with shotgun blast dispersion which is great for dealing with suicide boats. You can also give her the prototype triple 152mm main gun. If you want a faster firing gun that has AP ammo, but at the cost of lower damage. The prototype triple 152mm main gun DP Mark 17 is also a good alternative, if you want a dual purpose gun. For her anti-air, 
I recommend the twin 40mm buffer stug for that added accuracy which can help with her salvo damage. You can also give her the twin 40mm buffer's haze mirror for the same reason. The 134mm twin high angle gun is also a good option for added firepower stats. You can also go with the twin 105mm AA gun SKC for historical accuracy. For her auxiliary, I recommend the type 1 pissing shell to increase the critical damage of her salvo and the type 98 delayed firing device to tighten up the dispersion of the shells from her salvos. You can also swap the Type 98 delayed firing device for the Certificate of Sponsorship. If you want a sortie Bismarck for more than 5 battles per sortie, the Certificate of Sponsorship has a passive skill that decreases the out of ammo debuff on your main fleet. This lets Bismarck deal considerable damage even without ammo. For comparison, other ships has their damage output decreased by 50% when fighting with zero ammo. For fleet arrangement, Bismarck is best sortied in a full iron blood fleet, specifically with either Tirpitz, Mama Graf or Baby Graf to maximize the effect of her will of the iron blood skill. She can also be sortied as a solo backliner for your iron blood vanguard when grinding for rune and mains. Just whatever you do, don't put her in a fleet where she is the only iron blood ship. Not only that you are wasting her skill, but you are also making her feel out of place, and might even cause her to remember some dark memories especially, if sorted with King George V or Rodney. Jokes aside, Bismarck is a really good ship, to have for your iron blood fleet, and pouring resources to her is well worth it. Well then, that's it for this video and as always, everything here are just my suggestion and everyone is free to either use it or ignore it. Before I go, I would like to announce to you guys that I had opened up a Patreon for the channel. This means that you can now support the channel by being a Patreon. So, what do you get for being a Patreon? You get special early access to both the videos released in this channel as well as the audio fanfictions that I will be posting in my other channel. Those fanfictions are about our favorite wafers during their most heroic battles such as Laffy during the first naval battle of Guadalcanal and many more with the text format available for Patreons. Additionally, you will get access to Patreon only updates and content. You can go to patreon.com slash crappy angel or you can click the link in the description for more information. As always, I would like to thank everyone for your continued support to the channel. Well then, I will see you guys around.